Welcome back to my channel. In the last video, I told you where you can download the latest version of Microsoft Office offline setup and how to install it offline without an internet connection. I also explained the online setup installation process. Today, I'll tell you about the best internet file downloader, which allows you to download any type of file from the internet at full speed. I'll discuss two types of software. One is lifetime free and the other is paid. So without wasting any more time, let's get into the video. Welcome to my channel, Technicio. First, we'll try the paid software. For this, we'll open the browser and search for Internet Download Manager, or IDM, in short. From the search results, we'll open the official Internet Download Manager website. As I mentioned, this software is subscription-based, so it offers a 30-day free trial for the first time. If we scroll down, we'll see details about its different features. So, we'll click on the 30-day free trial and download it. Once the download is complete, we'll open it for installation. First, it will ask us to choose a language. I'll keep it in English and click OK. The setup will initialize, and then we'll click Next. After accepting the terms and conditions, we'll proceed further. If you want to create a desktop shortcut, you can leave it checked, but I don't want one, so I'll uncheck it and click Next. The installation will begin, and once completed, we'll click Finish. After installation, the Google Chrome integration method will open since I'm using Google Chrome. A pop-up will appear to enable the extension. Once enabled, the confirmation tab will open, and all our downloads will automatically shift to IDM, meaning they'll download through IDM. IDM runs in the background and initializes at Windows Startup, appearing in the system tray. If we open it from the system tray and click on the registration tab, it will ask for registration, which requires a subscription. Now, I'll tell you about another software that works similarly to IDM, but is completely free for a lifetime. To download it, we'll open the browser and search for AB Download Manager. We'll open its official website, where we'll see its interface and features. Clicking on Get App will show us three steps. First, we'll choose the platform, Windows, Linux, or Mac. After selecting the platform, we'll download it. It offers both a direct setup and a zip file. The third step explains how to install extensions for Firefox and Google Chrome, which we'll do later. Clicking the Download button will show that the download has automatically shifted to IDM. We'll click Start Download to proceed. Now we'll open and install it. The setup will show a welcome screen. Click Next. After accepting the terms and conditions, it will ask about shortcuts, start menu, and desktop. I don't want either, so I'll uncheck both and proceed with the installation. Once installed, we'll click Next and then Finish. AB Download Manager will open, and if we check its About section, we'll see that it's free for a lifetime. Now, I'll compare the download speeds of both. I'll open the browser and search for Ubuntu Download because its servers offer unlimited download speeds matching your internet speed. After opening the website, clicking Download will give us the option to download via IDM, but not ABDM since we haven't installed its extension yet. We'll start downloading via IDM and check the speed. It fluctuates a lot with a maximum speed of around 10 megabytes per second. Next, we'll open Chrome. Go to Manage Extensions and click on the Chrome Web Store. Here we'll search for AB Download Manager and add its extension to Chrome. After closing the tab, we'll see it in our installed extensions. Now if we click Download Now, both download dialogs will appear. We'll proceed with ABDM and check its speed. It's more stable, reaching up to 11 megabytes per second. If we start both downloads simultaneously, we'll see ABDM maintains its speed better, while IDM fluctuates around one megabyte per second. In IDM's speed limiter tab, we can set a speed limit. For example, 1,024 kilobytes per second, one megabyte per second. Below that, we can choose to remember this limit for future downloads. Under the Options on Completion tab, we can set actions like showing a completion dialog, hanging up the modem, exiting IDM, or even shutting down the computer after download completion. In ABDM settings, we'll find options like Show Download Completion Dialog, Thread Count, and Speed Limit. So here are both software options, one paid and the other free for life. In the next video, I'll show you how to extend your drive partition size and troubleshoot any issues that may arise. Don't miss my next video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Technicio, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Together, let's end tech tantrums. Thank you.